What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. What's up? Subscribe down below for new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. I'm in a, an amazing mood right now, actually. Um, it's Sunday right now as I'm filming this. I've just had a great day and the vibes are right in my apartment right now. And yeah, if you guys like this setup, definitely let me know down below. I think I'm, I think I'm digging it. I thought it was time we checked back in. I've been traveling. I was home for winter break. I'm now settling into back to school for my second semester of junior year at UGA. And I like to do Q and A's every now and then to kind of just check in with you guys because I'm pretty, I'm pretty much an open book. I kind of say what's on my mind. I talk about what's going on in my life, and I always like to answer y'all's questions. So I posted on the gram at Danielle Carolyn. You guys should definitely follow me. I'm always posting on there and interacting with you guys. And I said, ask me questions and you guys supply. I'm going to go through these questions. There's a lot of questions that I haven't answered before. You guys are really getting creative. I love some creative questions, you know. And we're just going to get started. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. And yeah, let's just chat. Let's just have a chill time now. <laughs> I'm weird. Any new trips coming up? That's a great question. Um, so I didn't really travel a lot last semester. It might seem like I did because I went to Germany. But other than that... I went to the Georgia Florida game. I did pretty, I, I was trying to be like a true college student last fall because the fall before that, I traveled a lot. I missed a couple of football games and I really regretted it. And I honestly love just, I want to savor this time of being a college student. But with YouTube and all these other things, I'm so thankful to like have opportunities. So I do have some trips coming up. Actually, they're not YouTube related, they're friends related. So JK. But yeah, I like to travel. Let's just say that. This weekend, I will be in New Orleans. I'm excited. It's my boyfriend's fraternity formal. So at UGA, Pretty sure all, if not most, um, fraternities for their formal event, it's like a whole weekend and you go somewhere. So a lot of fraternities go to New Orleans, like a ton of us are going the same weekend, like a ton of fraternities, so me and a ton of friends are going. And then um, a lot of people go to Charleston, Nashville, and one fraternity, they like went to the Bahamas last year actually, it's pretty fun. Um, so. I've actually never been on a formal. I'm really, really excited. I'm going to New Orleans and it'll be really, really fun because a few of my friends are dating some guys in my boyfriend's fraternity. So it's like gonna be really fun and basically you're just there for the weekend and there's one night where you dress for formal attire. Well, I don't think the girls, we don't wear long dresses. We wear short dresses, but like there's a formal night and then the other day you like explore New Orleans and I'm just so excited to like be with all my friends and I think it'll be a really good weekend. So definitely follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting a lot. I will not be vlogging it, um, but yeah, I'm really excited. Then on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night, <laughs> next Thursday night, I fly to Las Vegas. I'm so excited. Um, it's one of my really, really good friends from home, Sophia's 21st birthday, and she's going to Vegas with her parents, and she invited any of like our friends that wanted to go and that were 21, obviously, because you really can't go to Vegas if you're not 21. So it's going to be me, Sophia, and her really good friend, Maddie, and Caitlin. So it's going to be so much fun, and then her parents... Literally, we're going to see Diplo one night and then Galantis the other. Like, I'm literally so excited. It's going to be a lot of traveling, but Sophia's one of my best friends, and Caitlin's also going, and I love her family, and I I don't know. Vegas is going to be really fun. So, yeah, it's going to be a crazy next couple of weeks, needless to say. Um, I'm going to, like, try and drink as much emergency as possible and stay as healthy as possible because I do not want to get sick, and I'm not going to manifest that either. I'm, I'm perfectly healthy, happy, we're good. But other than that, well... So yeah, those are the two trips coming up. Nothing else really. And then I'm going to Coachella. Woo! Do you use presets to edit your photos? A lot of people ask how I edit my Instagram pictures. Really, really quick. Um, I actually use the Tezza app, T-E-Z-Z-A. She's like a blogger. I love her photos. She's super cool. She came out with an app last year around this time and I use the vintage filter and that's pretty much all I do. Um, I just adjust the filter and the contrast, the shadows, the brightness, whatever. But yeah, that's all I do. I used to use presets and now looking back, they were so orange and sometimes still my photos are orange, but it's fun to look kind of tan. I don't know. I don't care. I know what I'm doing. I don't care. If people think I'm orange, I'm orange, whatever. I'm how did you become a spin instructor? Um, so briefly, I've mentioned this, but um, some people do ask like how it kind of all started. So I've been spinning for like five years. I started going to spin studios in Tampa and I really, really loved it. I came to UJ and I was so sad there was no spin studios. So I was going to Orange Theory and just trying to stay fit, but it was hard because I just love spin so much and I was doing hip hop. I was just trying different things. So then Purevelo Athens came to Athens, obviously, this past August. And I was obsessed. I became really good friends with everyone that worked there, the manager, because um, I had gone to Purevelo in Charlottesville when I visited my friend that goes to UVA, Caitlin. 
And I was like, wow, I would love if we had this. And then they came to Athens, which was so hype. And so basically I was just there all the time. I'm still there all the time taking classes. And one day after class, I think it was like in October, um, the manager, Maxine, came up to me. She was like, I know you have negative time, but you have such great energy and you're so great. If you want, I'd love to include you in our next teacher training for the spring, um, you know, we understand you're busy like if you just wanted to teach one class a week i think it'd be really fun and she wasn't pressuring at all and so i was like holy crap like the fact that she had come up to me was after taking her class it was just like so crazy i didn't think i was that great at spin to be able to do something like that so it was like a really cool feeling because once i really started to do youtube i um kind of stopped doing other things like hip-hop and you know when you leave high school you don't have as many extracurricular activities in college or anything so it's kind of been fun to have this like other place to go and so I was really honored when I don't know she just like valued what I do in spin and like thought I had the potential so then I was like I thought about it for like a couple days and I was like oh my god yes I want to do it because I had thought about it before but I was I didn't think it was a reality for me and then so I trained in November practiced a crap ton I'm literally going to the studio to practice tonight and this week so as you guys are watching this today is my first ride at Provello it's my first class I'm teaching pretty much the whole room is my friends they all are really supportive and they all signed up and there's like a couple people that I saw on the list that I don't know so I'm so excited um and yeah I'm gonna be teaching once a week as of now I'm already like itching to teach more but I need to like pace myself um so yeah I'm really 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 excited I'm I'm very nervous um but I think it's gonna go really well because it's something I'm really passionate about and I love just finding music and coming up with the choreo like it's so much fun sorry that was a tangent but yeah are you going to travel abroad for school so unfortunately i don't think i'm going to be able to do a big like semester abroad i just there's so much that goes on here on campus and just in the united states i feel like i want to stay here it would be i've seen a couple of my friends do it that do youtube that went away for a semester and was really hard because they had to miss out on certain opportunities and as much as i think studying abroad is so awesome and i really planned i wanted to do a semester in italy or something of the sorts and then i thought doing a may semester in italy it just hasn't worked out with my schedule or my major there's not really one right now that just like works out with everything and I'm really thankful that I do get to travel a lot. And I just, I, I don't know, I get I, I get FOMO, but I also don't get FOMO. But I think I'd get FOMO being away from UGA for a whole semester. I don't really know. I just, there's lots here going on now with spin and everything. I don't really want to leave. But I am doing um, a two-week may semester through the fashion merchandising program or the family and consumer sciences college that's for fashion merchandising majors in new york city um for like maybe it's not two weeks like a week and a half in may um and a ton of my friends that are also that major are going with me and it's gonna be really fun um they planned everything out we're gonna be doing a lot of visits to studios galleries i mean so many awesome things pr companies i'm really really looking forward to it i'll definitely be vlogging it so it's technically a study abroad or a study away program but it's in new york city but i love new york city and i think we get to see like a broadway show while we're there and it'll be really fun to be there with like my friends from uga they're like oh my god danielle like you got to show us all the places in new york because i've never been to new york with all my college friends so i think that'll be um really fun so yeah how do you find the time to do school, YouTube, and spin instructing? I get this question a lot in different variations. How do you find time to have social life, school? You it's, I don't ever really think about it for me, and I know this is probably not the answer you want, but for me, I've, my whole life, I've always lived my life wanting to just constantly be doing things. It has bitten me in the butt sometimes because then I get like burnt out. But not a lot because I really just love constantly doing things. I love being with people. I. There are so many things I enjoy doing and in order to be able to do all those things, I'm just going to have to make it work. So so yesterday, for example, um, I did a lot of different things and I mean, days are long and if you have a full day, there's so much you can get done in that day. So in the morning, my boyfriend and I went to breakfast. We had like a nice little walk. We got bagels. It was like a really nice time. So that was my time with him. He went home. I came back. I recorded a podcast. Then I headed over to Purevelo to practice for my first spin class and I brought some of my friends so it's kind of like social time they got a free class out of it basically because I was practicing and that was really really fun I got a workout in after that what did we do we came back we all showered had dinner like me and my friends all hung out Delaney and I just chilled out I did some stuff on my computer while Delaney and I were like eating dinner and watching tv I was finishing editing a vlog so it's kind of I guess multitasking and I'm like okay with that I just had like one earbud in so her and I could still talk and then um, I cleaned and went in my room and I had some alone time. I played music. I like, you know, made my bed all the nine yards. 
and then I went to bed and it was just like a perfectly balanced day That's like and that was a weekend. That was a Saturday. Obviously on school days It's a little bit tougher like for example Tomorrow like I don't know I just know my certain break so tomorrow I have a certain break and so does Ryan So we'll meet up for lunch on campus in between our classes because we actually both have literally the same exact class schedule so it's Kind of nice in the sense we're both in class at the same time and we both have the same breaks So we'll like meet up for a lunch for an hour and just kind of check in and then we'll go on our merry way That was a mouthful, but it's kind of just I don't know I just like to do a lot of things and I just kind of make it work. I don't know. I I don't know top three favorite clothing pieces at the moment this beanie guys I can't stop wearing it I need to go to urban and get more colors because neon green is such a intense color that I can't get away with wearing this every day But I so would um, this beanie because it also keeps you warm and then also I would say, what else have I been wearing a lot? My Lululemon Align leggings, I'm literally wearing them right now. I wear them like every day with sweaters or sweatshirts or crop tees, kind of like this. My third most worn item right now would be my um, Adidas Tefra sneakers that I linked a while back, but I see that they're sold out now. At least they were like a week ago, <laughs> about a week ago. I'm so annoying, on Revolve. And they're just like go my go-to sneakers. So those would be the three. Will you be graduating next May? Yes, May 2021, I will be graduating. I like randomly sometimes see people comment like, can't wait to see you have a fifth year at UGA because you don't prioritize school and because you suck and you have bad grades. And I'm like, all those things are false. I will be graduating with my class in 2021. I take the proper amount of classes. I have great grades. I'm beyond proud of myself for getting the grades I do with everything I do. So yeah, sorry, that was a little bit of like a eh, but we're good we're chilling do you want to move back to florida when you grow up i it's so weird that i've never said that and i don't know if that's the case still but i loved being home this past winter break i love tampa i expect it's become even like i love it even more every time i go back so many things are developing and it's becoming even more my vibe um and i didn't realize how much i love just living in florida like i just never really I don't know, I think I took it for granted and now going to school in Georgia, I definitely appreciate things about, you know, where I'm from. So, I mean, I think right out of college, I'm gonna move to a big city. I think that's the plan. I'll probably like live at home for a couple months, you know, like for the summer. I don't really know, that's weird. That's like literally, whoa, I just got the chills. That's actually uh, next year. Literally next year sometime, I will be li maybe living in a new, whoa, I just got the major chills. This is my first time realizing that. I'll definitely move to a big city. Like that's just what I wanna do. But I could see myself raising a family in Tampa. It's freaking awesome. I love it. I think my parents are going to stay there. Who really knows? Um, I could see my brother totally moving back there. I could also see myself living in here in Atlanta. I could see myself living in New York City. I could see myself living in Dallas for some reason. I love Dallas. Char Charlotte, North Carolina. I've said these places before. Um, basically like kind of bigger cities that are kind of more suburban. I don't know. Q&A with Ryan? Question mark. Okay. I... I never know what to do about this because my last relationship was so on the internet and it's just not that it ruined it by any means but I just love having this like sacred thing and I love putting it in my vlogs and he enjoys it he it's not him at all he would be in all the videos if he he doesn't care like he's so supportive and everything but it's just I feel like once I really put him on the internet it's like I don't know, like it's just, he means so much to me and our relationship means so much to me that I get nervous. I don't think we'll ever do like the boyfriend tag or anything, but I, we've definitely talked about maybe doing like a Q&A or something or like boyfriend does my makeup, like one or two things, but I don't know. It, I just kind of like how he's like in the vlogs or he's on my Instagram story all the time and I post with him. It's, I'm not hiding him at all. It's just more of like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. We, I love our relationships because we both have like our own separate things and like we love it. And I don't, I don't know. I just love where it is right now and I just get nervous. But if you guys have any tips, let me know. Oh my God, so many of you are asking my plans after graduation. That's just freaking me out. We can't ask those yet. No, no, no. All right, I've talked for a long time. There's so many more questions I want to answer, but that just means I'm going to have to film another one of these videos. I just don't want this video to be a thousand minutes long. Also, it's getting so dark out. Do you guys see how like progressively it's gotten darker throughout this video? Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I really enjoyed it. It put me in a really good mood i always just love sitting down and filming because i just feel like it's us connecting and chatting so if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up let me know um 
I really am always, I literally read every single comment. I respond to a lot and I'm pretty sure I like almost every comment, at least within the first few days. I want your video requests. I know you guys love the College Week in My Lives and I will continue to do them, but I feel like I need to be doing other videos too. So if there's other videos that some of your favorite video, some of your favorite YouTubers film and you want me to do it, tell me. Literally, I read the comments. I, I don't think people realize how much I look to the comments to like see, because like I'm filming stuff I want, like I'm filming stuff that you guys want to see. I mean, obviously stuff I want to make, but I don't know if I'm making sense. Anyways, follow me on Instagram, at Danielle Carolyn, to be involved in the next Q&A. Subscribe, please, please, please. It would be so cool if I hit 600,000 subscribers this year. I think we can do it. I think we can. And yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will chat with you guys this Sunday for a new video.